So today, the Baltimore Ravens received good news on what? Excuse me. Today, the Baltimore Ravens received great news. Great news on wide receiver Rashad Bateman. Uh, just a couple days ago, a report that initially when I saw it and a lot of us saw it, it had us freaking out. We were going crazy. We were like, hold up, Rashad Bateman got placed on the reserve, did not report list. Hold up. Is this a holdout? Hold up. But then after we read the report uh, and then read Eric DaCosta's statement, because Eric DaCosta said, hey, we expected Rashad Bateman back very soon. I was like, all right, DaCosta, cool. If that's what you're saying, you know what? Th this offseason, Eric DaCosta really been earning a, a, a lot more of my trust. Because if you go back, Eric DeCosta also said he said they wanted to revamp that wide receiver room. They wanted to redo the whole thing. And I was thinking, okay, like, what's your version of redoing a wide receiver room, Eric? But you saw how he's redone the wide receiver room. It's like, oh, okay, the nice. I like it. But anyway, um, this is really, really good news. Uh, before we get into it, team, keep it clean. I appreciate y'all. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. Hey, things have been crazy. Things have been wild, as you've seen. Subscribe to the channel, turn your notifications on. Uh, leave a like on the video. I appreciate all of y'all always sharing your input on everything. Everything. I appreciate it so much. Uh, but Rashad Bateman is back. Rashad Bateman is back. I remember when it came out that he got the cortisone shot. Oh, man. <laughs> I remember every single conversation that was had about that. I remember the comment section. I remember the, the, the Twitter conversation. I remember just everything that was said about that cortisone shot. Um, some people are like, oh, it's cause it's to help him heal, it's to help the pain with his healing. Oh, some people are saying, oh, he's not healing right. It's all, oh, this is bad. Da, da, da. And it could be a couple of different things. It could be a lot of different things. And it might have been all of those things. But the fact of the matter is that now Ravens have their wide receiver, first round pick out here, by the way, Rashad Bateman, back in the building now. Do I expect or should we all expect him to just be full go right from the jumper training camp? In my opinion, I don't think so. I think even with him being taken off that list, him being added to the active list, take it slow. Take it easy. It's not a rush. It's not a race. We got a, I can't even say we got a long ways to go. We're literally right at the end of July. In a month from now, we'll be at the end of August. And then a couple weeks from then, we'll be at the beginning of football season. So take it slow. Don't rush Rashad Bateman. The fact that he's back now is an amazing thing, and we love it. But Ravens need to pace it. Pace it. And I think they will. I'm, I'm very confident in them that they will, uh, especially with the new direction, well, the, 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 the new direction that we're hoping it is when it comes to their strength and their conditioning regimens. Now, they brought in a, a coach last year who was pretty much a, uh, I want to call him a recovery coach. That wasn't his official title. But that's what he specialized in, in player recovery, in their rehab process, just helping them not only heal, but heal the right way and completely heal. Uh, and he came from the Titans. I cannot remember his name right now. My apologies, y'all. I'm sorry. Um, but we saw a change in that with the Baltimore Ravens. We saw some guys who came back from significant injuries and who just had not been themselves. We saw Ronnie Stanley. He came back and he looked good again. We saw Gus Edwards, he came back. We saw J.K. Dobbins, he came back, and then he was like, oh, you know what? I'm not myself. We got to clean this thing up. Then he came back again, and he looked better. He wasn't his full self yet, but he got better along the way. And there were more guys that came back too, but the process has already started, and, and it's already started in a positive way, so that's a good thing. So with Rashad Bateman, when it comes to Rashad Bateman, who we know the potential is there. The potential is there. It's all about putting it together now, consistently. We know he can make plays. We've done seen it over the past two years, especially last year. And now, like, I feel like Rashad Bateman is the forgotten man. And when I say the forgotten man, I don't mean the forgotten from Team Keep It Clean because uh, shout out to my guy Rodney, my guy GTR Sr., uh, my guy Terry, my guy Cam, my guy Nas, uh, my guy Morgan. They all made sure. Like anything that Team Keep It Clean thinks I may even slightly miss or forget, you let me know every time. That's why I love y'all and appreciate y'all so much. So thank you. I did catch it. I, I knew what was going on, but 
if I would have missed this, y'all wouldn't let me miss it. So I really appreciate y'all for that. But Rashad Bateman is the forgotten man, not necessarily, even maybe actually by some fans. But I feel like with all the attention that Odell Beckham Jr. gets, obviously, I mean, he's a superstar. I, all the attention that Lamar Jackson gets, I mean, obviously, that's that guy. All the attention that this J.K. Dobbins stuff has gotten recently. All the attention that Mark Andrews has continued to get in this offense. All the attention that Todd Monken has garnered since becoming a Baltimore Raven coach or offensive coordinator this offseason. I feel like I miss everything. Um, Rashad Bateman is often a forgotten man. Because people will mention Odell Beckham Jr., what he could possibly do. People will bring up Zay Flowers, what he can do. People will bring up Mark Andrews, what he has done and what he can do. People will bring up if J.K. Dobbins is healthy, what he can do. And other players, and of course Lamar Jackson, obviously. But I feel like a lot of people are forgetting about Rashad Bateman. I've said it before, and I'll continue to say it uh, this yeah, I really do feel like he's going to be Ravens as long as he's healthy. He'll be Ravens' number one guy. I mean, Lamar Jackson said it back in his presser about a month and a half ago, whenever it was. But um, I really do think that Rashad Bateman will be the the Ravens' their number one wide receiver. He'll, I think, he'll be their go-to guy at wide receiver. Um, and the fact that the Ravens have options, they have options at wide receiver. Uh, the, the fact that they can open up the field with everything that they have. They can use all of the field with everything that they have. It, it, it should be nice, man. I'm excited to see it. Uh, Rashad Bateman has good size. Sneaky speed. Very, very sneaky speed. I, I feel like with Rashad Bateman, um, a lot of people, I remember including myself, don't talk about his speed enough. Uh, Rashad Bateman, he got some decent hands. He does have the drops here and there. But again, like I always say, as long as you making more plays, then you're missing. As long as you catching more, then you dropping. That's fine. That's fine. Now we don't want that. We don't want it to be like every other like every other throw your way is a catch and every other throw besides that is a drop. We don't want nothing like that. We don't want like no fifty percent ratio or nothing like that. But y'all get what I mean. Um, as long as you making more plays, then you missing. Uh, but with Shaw Bateman, I'm I'm very excited for him this year. Because I, I think Odell Beckham Jr. will be, And I know that he obviously got paid the big money. But he, he did get paid the big money to make plenty of plays. He certainly did. And make touchdowns, get yards, get catches, get all that. And that's his incentives right there. If he leaves the Ravens in catches, extra meal. If he leaves the Ravens in yards, extra meal. If he leaves the Ravens in touchdown catches, another extra meal. He could get all his 18 meal. So, I um, but I think one another reason they paid Odell Beckham Jr., is to obviously to give Lamar Jackson a, another solid guy, but to take some attention off Rashad Bateman. Because that's what it's going to do. Everybody's, th everybody's thinking about Odell Beckham Jr. Everybody. Odell Beckham Jr., what's he going to look like? Odell Beckham Jr., oh, we got to watch him. What's he going to do at training camp? How's he going to look? How's he going to look like at week one of the season? How's he going to look? Everybody, and, and I get it. Why are they wondering that? We all wondering that. We excited for it. And again, Mark Andrews, they flip, but a lot of people still forgetting about Rashad. So he can benefit all, all, all that attention that's going all these other places. He can benefit off of that so much. Even last year alone, he was doing his thing. And it was Rashad Bateman, Devin DuVernay, Demarcus Robinson, and Mark Andrews, of course. But And, and it's no offense to those guys at all, of course, because they're NFL players, so they are excellent at their craft but now with the group that they have even more attention will be on other people defenses will have to focus on other people that much more so Rashad Bateman the fact that what he was doing last year before he got hurt if that's indicative of what it'll be moving forward we in some real good shape we in some real good shape again health is wealth that's the biggest thing with this team man that's the biggest concern, the biggest worry, the, the, the biggest obstacle with these Baltimore Ravens. And I know y'all tired of hearing me say it, but I got to say it again because it's true. Health is wealth. That's the biggest thing that could stop them. Really, in my opinion, that's the only thing that could stop them. If they're healthy, man, that's, that past the sky is the limit. 
they could really do some damage. But anyway, Team Keep It Clean with Glad Rashad Bateman is back in the building. It's always great to get great news. Um, because I know as Ravens fans, yeah, we done, we done had our fair share of bad news, but it's great to share good news. Oh, I love it. I love it. Um, but it's great to get great news as well. Uh, so I love y'all. I really appreciate y'all. Thank you for always watching. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. Turn your notifications on so you don't miss anything because things have already picked up so much and the whole team hasn't even met together for training camp yet. Think about that. Think about that. Things have picked up so much in the Baltimore Ravens as a unit, as a team, with all 90 men, they haven't even met together yet. They haven't even fully got there yet. We're not even at a full training camp yet. Think about that. It's going to be a crazy year. I love y'all. appreciate y'all. And we out.